Hey y'all, welcome back to Chat with Coach Amy. Today I have Lisa. She's so beautiful. You have, I'm serious, you have the best smile ever. I was oh, loving thank it. you. I love it. I love it. So Lisa has been, did you ever do group coaching? I did one of your like Christmas sessions, I think, with you and JJ. That was the only time really. Okay. So you've been a one-on-one -on -one client and um like had the most amazing progress. <laughs> It took like it was a, a steady um, down tick, I guess is what I would like to say. <laughs> yeah. But you yeah. stuck with it, and um, I can't wait to hear for you to tell everybody your story. Um, you overcame a lot of things, and you just always stayed true to what your goals were. And if you didn't, you you rallied and got it back together, and that's that's really key in my opinion. You know, for making THM like lifestyle long term right yeah yeah for sure yeah so go ahead and tell us a little bit about you okay well I am Lisa I'm 36 years old I've been married 12 years 11 and a half almost 12 years mm -hmm. I have three kids six five and four I homeschooled for the first time last year and I'm going to do it again this year I'll have a first grader and a kindergartner and a preschooler <laughs> um yeah so that's it. Those little ones, those little ones, man. I was thinking the other day when my girls were little, like it's just a different season. And now they're all teenagers. I was just telling Lisa a little bit, some teenager things. Yeah. <laughs> well, y'all got have the two little boys. So it's just like both worlds. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> how that yeah, works yeah. 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 So sure. how did you first find out about Trim Healthy Mama? So I watched Trim Healthy Mama on like the Facebook pages for a long time. Like I um, heard randomly Serene and Pearl on a health podcast, oh, okay. like a long time ago before they were popular and I ordered, it just really resonated. It was like the balanced approach and I love their personalities and how their sisters and how they love the Lord. And they were just so like fun and it seemed doable. And so I bought like the big, huge, thick white book. Like, yeah. I don't know, this is probably like maybe 2017 or 16, a long time ago. And I read it. Um, and I understood what to do, but I didn't ever do it. Um, I just watched on Facebook for like literally years and I believed in the process. Um, but yeah, I didn't do it. So then some other circumstances in our life were happening mm -hmm. and things just kind of felt out of control and I just needed to be able to control something. And so I could control like what I put in my mouth yes. and what I told myself and like, I was responsible for that. And so I just needed, I just needed something that steady, um, something steady. Yeah. Not, not an extreme approach, not a quick fix, but like I needed something that was doable and sustainable and for myself and for my whole family. And so I already had Trim Healthy Mama and I believed in it. And so when it was May 1st of last year of 2021, I was like, okay, like I'm doing this and I haven't, I haven't looked back. It's been really great. So yeah. yeah you know, You've done awesome. You've done awesome. Um, so how did you find me? You were just like a godsend for sure. Oh. Like, I, like on April, like 30th, I don't know. I'm kind of like a type personality. And so I was like, okay, tomorrow's like a new day. It's a new, it's the first of the month. Like I just am ready to do this, but oh. I, I just need some help. I need some accountability. And so I just did a quick search on one of the Facebook pages and like three coaches popped up. Um, and I messaged them all and you had like a discovery call thing. I don't know if you still yeah. will do that. And you yeah, had one like that day. Like, it's required. <laughs> okay. Well, great. So, um, and so you were available like right then, which is when I needed it. And so I called you on my drive, I think to take my son to speech or something. Um, and you said that you were full and you didn't have an availability for like a couple of months. And then later that day and all the other coaches said the same thing. And so I was kind of bummed because yeah. I was ready to like, to do this like yeah. now and I needed that now. And then later that day, you said one of your clients dropped out and you had an opening and do I want it? And so I said, yes. And it was just, it was great. It was like wow. what I needed wow. at the time when I needed it. And so I just felt very seen by the Lord um, in his timing mm. and his provision and just, it was great, you know? So, yeah. Awesome. And by the way, too, I looked at your pictures uh -huh. and I was like, I didn't know, I didn't know who you were. And you looked at the same age as your daughter. So I was like, trim healthy mama. I can make you look like a teenage girl. Like, okay, <laughs> I'm doing this. So yeah. that's hilarious. I don't remember all of that. 
each time I'm enrolling one-on-one, it's like a big blur, you know, I love listening to y'all, y'all side of it, you know, that's so fun for me to hear and remember, um, because we were together for a really long time, we were, yeah, yeah, um, it's like eight months from May to December, or maybe January, Mm -hmm. so, Mm -hmm. yeah, Mm -hmm. and then I get little texts every now and then, (laughs) yeah, yeah, (laughs) yeah, Yeah, that's the best. That's the best. I love that. So talking about with your children being little, um, how have you been able to incorporate Trim Healthy Mama when feeding them? Um, So they are not all the way on plan for Mm -hmm. sure. I mean, I have all, because they're little, like I have pretty much all the control of what they eat. And so they eat on plan for the most part, but I do buy um, like some convenience, like big bars and stuff yeah. for them. So like I make like a trim healthy mama dinner and then do like really easy additions to make it a crossover for them. But, you know, for breakfast, we have a lot of eggs and yogurt or um, sausage or whatever, or yeah. toast. Like they just have whole wheat toast. I don't buy, I don't give them the expensive yeah. sprouted food because right. they don't care and they're healthy weights and growing. And right. um, so, and then for lunch, like I usually have like leftovers um, or something like real easy. And then they might have like a peanut butter and jelly or just make it really easy. Um, for sure. For sure. Like I'm not, it's not, I don't, I don't stress about it. Maybe if they were not at healthy weights, maybe it'd be a thing, but they're all like very active and yeah. very, very healthy weights. And so I just, we just do our thing and it's going to be okay. So That's awesome. So what yeah. are some of um, your kids' favorite dinners that you make? They love like that double fried chicken rice. Yes. I'm not sure what chicken, but they all double chicken double fried rice. I think that's what it is. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's got like brown rice and cauliflower rice. They yeah. all like that. And we have a lot of like rotisserie chicken and just like roasted vegetables. They all love the um the hubby loving chicken. Mm-hmm. They all like that. They like um the shepherd's pie skillet. We all eat that a lot. Yep. I'm trying to think of other stuff. Just again, like real basic, real basic, easy, easy yep. ones. Absolutely. Oh. I think that's awesome. That's great. That's great. So what do you normally do for breakfast? So for breakfast, I usually, I usually have an E for breakfast. So like okay. I've tried it both ways, but like, I just feel better whenever I have an E. So I either have oatmeal for breakfast um, or like the sprouted toast. I make like my own, I probably saw it, stole it somewhere. I don't know, but like my own version of like cinnamon toast from whenever I was a kid, but I do yeah. like laughing cow cheese and gentle yeah. sweet and stevia. And I always, yeah. always have berries every day yeah. or I'll have, like, I'm going to have an S I'll have like eggs and like over mixed greens chopped up. Mm-hmm. Um, so just real, real simple or yogurt, you know, I'm very much a drive through Sue, like real, yeah, for sure. This morning I did a live putting my breakfast together. I did quinoa that I'd already made up. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I cut up a nectarine and added um, a two good yogurt to it. And a lady, I haven't responded because I've been going 90 to nothing today, but um, a lady said something about, I would put cinnamon and I'm like, yeah, you could, but I just wanted to, I wanted it simple. I just needed three things yeah. and I ate it. Like <laughs> I don't need to pull every spice out of the cabinet, man. I'm like you, let's just fuel. It's going to be fine. And we're going to keep going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I kind of go in seasons where like, I'll make like a lot of variety. And then there's seasons where I'm just like, I'm just oh. having the same every day for lunch and I'll make something different for dinner. And it just kind of, kind of ebbs and flows of yeah. what, what I can do with like, what's sustainable, you know, like, right. Um, and that, that's what it is. And I don't, I'm kind of like, I don't need a ton of variety. I could go to like the same restaurant and get the same thing for a week. And it's going to be, it's going to be great. You know, Yeah, like, that's right. No, but yeah, I agree. I agree. That's great. So do y'all do, do you do uh, a menu for each, each week for your family? I have one that I set up on the weekends for like groceries. I don't always stick to it. Um, but that has been like helpful or beneficial. It's like for days that I need to do like a crock pot meal or whatever, if we have something at night. Um, and again, sometimes I'm really like gung ho and like, you can look at the menu and that's what we're having for dinner. And then sometimes it's like, I'd made this menu, but we didn't follow it this week. Yeah. So, yeah. but I do, I do that's make a menu. 
and have an idea of what for dinners, at least of what we're going to have. For sure. So like I can say when I can just go to the grocery store and get what like staples that I know we need. And you probably yes. do something similar to that too. I mean, you just, yes. you just know yeah. what food you need to have. Um, today I ran to the grocery store to get specific things for my live in the kitchen for group coaching. And um, I knew that I was needing a few more things. And I just, you know, like I just knew what I needed. And so anyway, yeah. I think that's, that's really good to be able to do that for sure. That's great. That's great. So do y'all have like say a, when I first okay. started, like I did stick to that, to the menu, like yeah. I couldn't like, I needed the plan and to stick to the plan and for have sure. it. Um, but now I can, I guess, wing it maybe a yeah. little bit more easily and still stay on plan. That's right. Well, you know, practice, practice makes perfect on that. So yeah, that's yeah. good. Good habit. It's a good habit. And then you're, you're comfortable with it. You're not nervous. I'm gonna mess this up, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and you learn what you like and what you use the most of. It just takes time to do all that for sure. For sure. So when you decided to do THM and, you know, find a coach and all that, what circumstances were going on? Or were you just frustrated with yourself or, um, you know, like, I know you said that there were some things out of your control. So like, was that the main drive just to kind of lock down and really take care of yourself or, or do you mind sharing a little bit? Yeah. Well, I mean, um, kind of, yeah, all those things. Like I, I've kind of, I wouldn't really call myself a yo-yo dieter until I look back. Like my husband and I struggled with infertility for a long time and growing up, I like, that's what my dream was. I wanted to be a stay at home mom. Like I, you know, went to college and did all the things, but like, those are just like backup plans. Yeah. And so, um, and you're one of a bunch of kids. How many? I'm one of a bunch of kids, one of seven. Yeah. The middle of seven. seven. Mm -hmm. And so, um, that was really like a really hard season of my life for sure. When I, at the time, when we first started struggling with that, like I was at a healthy weight, I was ovulating, like nobody could find anything like wrong as to why I was not having babies. And so I just ate because I was real sad. And then I put on a lot of weight and that was the first time in my life where I'd like really been heavy. Like I was really active as a kid and I could eat whatever I wanted because I um, swam every day and ran every day. And so I didn't, I never learned how to like properly fuel my body when I wasn't just going hundred miles an hour, you know? And so, um, I comforted myself with food. And so anyways, fast forward, my husband and I like pursued adoption and we were so fortunate. We got to adopt our two oldest babies and then Mm -hmm. surprised we got pregnant when our youngest was six months old. And so that's why our kids are so (laughs) close in age, you know, like everybody said, you're not, this was not going to happen. And then it, then it happened. And, um, and so like before that happened to, um, I like did this really extreme diet where it's, I forgot the name of it, but I only ate like 600 calories a day and it was shakes. Wow. And it was just like, I lost a lot of weight really fast sure. and got down to like my pre, I guess my pre sadness stage maybe, yeah. but like, it was not a healthy way to do that or a sustainable way. And like my hair was falling out and like, I still felt oh really gosh. tired and I didn't, I didn't know like how to feed myself. And I enjoy eating. Like I like to go out to dinner with friends and like with my family. And like, I'm not someone that's like, let me just have like one chip and I'm great. You know, like I want to eat and I want to make food when people come over and like host things. And so like when you're doing a diet or something like a lifestyle that you can't eat with other people, Mm -hmm. like it's just not, it's not enjoyable or sustainable. And so, um, so anyway, so then some other situations were happening in my life and I started to like eat again to comfort myself. And I was putting on the weight like really fast. And I'd like weighed, I looked up one day and I weighed more than I weighed when I was nine months pregnant with my daughter. And I was like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. And like, I wanted looking out, you know, at the time my kids were like, I guess like five, four and two maybe. And they, they like, well, wanting to run and play and jump. And I, I wanted I want to like live my life with them and not just be sitting on the sidelines. I want to go and hike the mountains and go water ski and go do all the things with them. And, you know, I was 35 and like my knees were hurting. And so I was Mm -hmm. like, this is, this is not how it's supposed to be right right now. Um, And so I just found myself missing out on a lot of things. And I mean, honest, like I felt I would shy away from events because of how I looked like I hated getting dressed. I hated because, because I had not been heavy 
for, for a long time. I wasn't, I was, I felt really self-conscious. And so like, sure. I would need to go to events with my husband and I would just be like, I don't, I don't want to go because like, I don't have any clothes that are going to like for that event to fit right. in. And so I was just like, I don't want to hide away in a corner because of how I look and mm-hmm. I want to live and I can control this. I can change this. I and this that. is a healthy way to do it. That's sustainable and balanced and not extreme. That's going to take care of my body. And you can go to a restaurant and eat and it doesn't have to be a thing where people that right. don't know you well, like people don't have to know you're the healthy mama girl. I mean, they can, but like you can go somewhere, eat at a friend's house or whatever that doesn't know that you're doing this lifestyle and still eat and not, and it not be a thing, if that makes sense. So sure, it does. It does. You've experienced a lot of freedom. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. So yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So go ahead, tell us your progress because it's just incredible. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I don't weigh myself as often anymore. That's like a new thing I'm working on. Um, good. That's but good. the last time I weighed myself, I was down like 55 pounds, mm-hmm. and I just did the measurements like 22 inches, which I haven't measured like inches myself. Inches I haven't measured myself since like um, I guess maybe like March. So mm-hmm. I probably have probably have lost more since then, but. Yeah, so 55 yeah. pounds and 22 inches. Yes. Oh my gosh, so. that's, a, that's incredible. I'm so proud of you. I really am. Thanks. Yeah. So besides getting on plan and steady, what other changes did you make? Um, well, I like as far as like lifestyle, you mean? Yeah. I mean, were you paying attention to water, exercise, sleep, stuff oh, like that? Oh, yeah. Um, I've always like gone to bed pretty early well, since my kids all sleep through yeah. the night. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, I appreciate sleep. And I'm like, okay, like it's nine 30, it's time to go to bed. And yeah. then, um, so that's never been an issue for me, but I still struggle with like exercising consistently. Like I haven't quite found the thing as an adult that like I love and that's doable. Like I tried the work-ins for seasons and I do like them. And then I've tried like some of my friends go to like some group classes I've done like a month or two where I've gone with them and you know it's fun but and I go and walks a lot but I'm still working on that's kind of my next goal is like yeah what do I love to do for exercise wise I can do consistently but I mean I do have three young kids so like I'm not I don't live like a sedentary lifestyle for sure for sure we we move we move a lot so (laughs) um yeah and now yeah. you are capable of keeping up with them and, and doing and getting on up, up and down off the floor and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Running and playing soccer and chasing and, you know, they want to play cops and robbers and pick them, and pick them up and throw them around, you know? And so it's, yeah, it's, it's great. You know? That's so. precious. I'm so proud yeah. of you. Oh my goodness. So proud of you. So, um, what are some things that you always do? Like as a trim, healthy mama, like I have some clients are like, I have a collagen coffee with my MCT every day or I have okra every day or whatever. Like what's your, yeah. what are your things? Well, I always have a collagen in my coffee, like for breakfast every day. Um, and I always have like the easiest thing for me every day. I always have a salad. Like I just mm-hmm. buy a big tub of the mixed greens that are from Sam's or Walmart. And I cut it up with scissors and yeah. just yeah. olive oil and salt and and nutritionally, maybe you taught me this. I don't know. I did. It okay. <laughs> yeah. And I put like some of the sprinkle can Parmesan cheese. So it's like an S and that's like my favorite easy meals. So, like I'll have that for lunch with another collagen coffee sometimes. Like I just, it's real, like it's real sim- simple. Um, so I have that every single day or like probably at least six out of the seven days of a week. Um, yeah, I guess. And I try to take pictures still of all my meals. That's been helpful. Like on that eight app with my timing. Mm-hmm. just to help me keep track of it and remember. <laughs> yeah. I, so. I mean, as a coach, because, you know, with my one-on-one clients, they can see my ADAP and I use my mm-hmm. ADAP in social media stuff sometimes, but not all the time because I have other things I need to post, whatever. But ADAP is like crucial for me because that timing is great. Did you see um, a, a lady share with one of my buds? She shared with me the widget for iPhone and it also will go to your Apple watch. I don't have an Apple watch, but if you have one, you can have it on there. And like my widget right now, like I've just, I don't know if you can see it, 
yeah, yeah. it's like right there that's my eight out widget and it has the time that I ate last cool yeah it's no, so just, cool it's so yeah. cool so y'all y'all search that coach Amy and eight out <laughs> widget It'll come yeah up on Facebook. I did a little video but it's so so cool to have I don't think you can do it on an Android phone but you can on an Apple but anyway it's been great so I love I love the eight out um, so I remember you went on a couple of trips while we were doing one-on-one, -on -one, um, with your family, with all your, your siblings and your parents, oh, yeah. all of their families. And it was just like so many people, but like you crushed it. And I'm, if I remember right, your husband kind of went alongside you and, and y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. talk, talk yeah. about that. So last September, and I was real anxious about it because that was the first like big trip that I'd gone on right. didn't get to like plan everything out you know I was going yeah. with my extended family and there's a lot there's a lot of us like 33 of us and we were all staying in the big condo house thing together yeah. um and so I did a lot of preparation to go because I was still like a new kind of a newbie on the journey and I knew that if I went off plan like I don't really go off plan I'll have crossovers but yeah or maybe accidentally might have something off plan but <laughs> typically I just stay on plan all the time and so at that point I was like I can't I can't go to a restaurant I can't give myself permission to eat off plan because I knew like I was just gonna go like crazy <laughs> and so <Free> slope. <laughs> right yeah and it was just like there's gonna be so much off plan stuff everywhere because I my parents and my family are like really supportive but I'm the only one that eats this way right um and so I just had to plan a lot, I guess. So I guess that's what you're asking. Um, and so I prepped a lot of things like my mom sent out like a menu of what she was going to provide for the family, like for breakfast and the list of like restaurants that we were going to go to and the dinners that we were going to eat at the house. And so I, I brought a lot of, um, what's the anti pearls, anti pearls muffins. Yep. I made those and froze them and brought those with us. I made a bunch of desserts that were on plan. <laughs> and froze them and like packed them in a cooler and brought them down. When we went there, I went to the grocery store, um, and got like fruit and berries and yogurt, um, to have. And I don't, I don't typically buy like a ton of the convenience food from Trim Healthy Mama, but for that week I like pre-planned and I bought like a bunch of like the crackers and like the coconut chips things. Yep. Um, and so I could have those as like easy grabs when we went down like to the beach and I brought a ton, or when we got to the grocery store, I bought a ton of like the bubbly water to yes. have. Everybody else was drinking other stuff. I could have that and be satisfied. Yes. So, um, and I knew like at the restaurants, there would be easy on plan options. And like one night we had pizza and like, I just scraped off the toppings and put it over my greens and just, I just enjoyed the food that, that they were having, but also like planned a lot of things that I could have, yes. you know, and I brought like a lot of Lily's chocolate bars because I knew <laughs> I was going to be wanting that. And so like that week I had more Lily's chocolate bars than I ever probably had, but right. it was fine. It's you know, something about vacation and you need a little snack, you know, or something like that. Yeah. So anyway, sorry about that. Yes. Okay. And my timing was probably not perfect that week, but, but That's it was okay. Question. Like, it you is. know, like, it was better than eating a bag of chips or a thing of ice cream. If I had like a little snack in between the three hours. Oh, and I brought a lot of co like collagen and had a lot of coffee, probably way more coffee that week, but I just needed something in my hand that was yummy. Amen. Busy and Amen. This is why we were such a good fit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, I love so. it so much. I love that. So good. When y'all were at the beach and you were having at restaurants like for dinner, did you get fish? I love to challenge myself to get to get fish. I don't really like seafood outside of fish though. So you may be yeah. yeah, I probably did. I don't like remember, yeah, you know, exactly all the things that I got, but I probably did, you know, or my husband. Did. he loves seafood so he mm. probably did and I probably had some bites of his you know it's a fun little it's a fun little um game I play it's kind of silly but yeah. I do yeah. weird things like that to incentivize myself I don't know it's just kind of fun oh my yeah. goodness that's great so y'all are in Arkansas so y'all at the Walmarts a lot do y'all have any other grocery stores or is that it <laughs> uh, I mean like we're like Walmart headquarters is like yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Walmart, we are in Walmart world. You are sure. Walmart people. Yeah. <laughs> we are Walmart people. Walmart employs like everybody here. So headquarters. <laughs> anyways, so we have other stores like local grocery stores, Har like Harps, and I don't know if they're nationwide. And we have Aldi here. Okay. Um, We're getting Sam's an Aldi, Park. Lisa, at, in my in Macomb. Oh my golly, yes. And a Chick-fil-A right in front of it. 
And we oh. have rumors of a Starbucks, but I haven't seen like any evidence yet. So I'll, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> hey, you're gonna, your whole world's going to change. We're moving up, girl. <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah. Good, good. That is something that Isaac, my husband, his name is Isaac. We do like on trips now. We go on weekend trips. It's, he's just plans like, what's the local grocery store? That's the part of our afternoon is like, we always go and like shop the local grocery store it's like a little treasure hunt to find yes, on planet things that we don't have in our area at walmart you know so he's like i just schedule it in because i know that's what you're gonna want to do oh and that's so great sweet. so how often do y'all do things like that that's wonderful um this year we've got to go twice or maybe three times it's a new season like where all my kids yeah. will sleep through the night and like yeah. they can all stay like at my parents house or at my sister's house where they're old enough it's not as like much work to take that's care of them right. and right. so it's a newer thing that we're getting to do. So it's been, That's it's awesome. been fun. Yeah. Right so. now in blooms, I don't know that I should really say this because this is so public, but I'm going to do it anyway. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> but Wes and I are doing, um, during the live Q and A on Sunday nights in blooms, we're doing the topic of intimacy and marriage. And so he's coming in for like 10 or 15 minutes and my clients can anonymously send in you know, questions. I have no idea who's asking. Yeah. There's no yeah. tag. Anywhere. Yeah. I have no idea. And um, it's not all, you know, bedroom talk or whatever. I mean, it, there's like, we talked about love languages and just being open and honest with each other and stuff like that. That has been really, really good. And somebody did ask about, um, you know, how we date at home, because I do post that sometimes, you know, date night at home or whatever. And so we got to talk about a lot of good things. So that was exciting. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm proud of y'all. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, it's hard. It's definitely it is. When they're little bitty, it is tough. It is tough because yeah. you're tired. And then it's like so much effort to take them somewhere and pack all the things and you got to pack your stuff. And then, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. And yes, it is. Yeah. We're not perfect at it by any means. I don't want to give that. Sure. It's something no, that we indeed. definitely are trying to but learn. You're, but you're trying yeah. and you're making an effort. I think that's, that's very commendable. So I'm super proud of that. That's great. How long have y'all been married? 11 year, 11 and a half years. So it'll be 12 okay. years this year in a little bit. Okay. So did y'all know each other growing up? We did not. We met okay. in college. Okay. So, yeah. That's awesome. I love his name. That's a great name. I love that. Yeah, thanks. So what would be your very favorite Trim Healthy Mama product? Product? Oh, definitely Gentle Sweet and oh. Collagen. Those are collagen. the two things that I use all yes. the time. <laughs> collagen is my favorite for sure. Very good. Um, so you said you do ease for breakfast. That's very intriguing. Um, do you have... Like um, throughout the day, would you have another E sometimes or do you just have the E for breakfast? Um, it depends. Like I don't all, I most of the time I have an E for breakfast, but um, sometimes I do. And usually like the E's are harder for me to get. Like I, or maybe, maybe because like my family enjoys more of like the S dinners. And so I usually try to do that. So mm -hmm. sometimes I'll have an E sandwich for lunch or like if I'm being like real lazy I guess maybe I should say busy or whatever not wanting to cook we'll have like eat I'll have an eat oatmeal for dinner because it's real cheap and fast and easy and have like a collagen tea or something to go with it um but yeah my typical would be like s for dinner most of the days that I try to do like at least one or two e's for dinner but my you know and the same with breakfast try to, to fuel juggle but usually it's e for breakfast and either e or s kind of whatever I'm feeling for lunch yeah. Yeah. and s dinner I love that you I love how you, you freestyle and, you know, it's just like, it's fine. It's going to be okay. Do you do fuel pools every day? I try to do a fuel pool snack mm -hmm. just to help like with the load, you know, yep. when usually that's either like a really simple like collagen coffee in the afternoon yep. or like uh, one of the triple zero or two good yogurts with yep. berries, you know, yep. just again, I like it's real, like a just real simple. Like, Amen. I you know, think that is key. And I'm, you know, and so many people, I think, try to recipe, they recipe themselves to death. And I've said it many times, different places. They definitely have their merits and they're wonderful, but it's, that's just not long-term for me, you know, um, making yeah. recipes like that. It's just not. So I'm so proud of you for um, grasping that. Like that's, yeah, <laughs> that's really good. I'm like over here. Like, yeah, yeah. Star, yeah. Star. <laughs> yeah. Right. I love Star. it. Great. I love it. I love that. Um, have you hit um, a wall where you got overwhelmed with THM? Um, 
I don't think I've hit that wall yet. I mean, like before I started with you, when I tried, when I would just like be watching and I would try it for like a day and try to, you know, do the old white book with the recipes. I was like, this is too hard. I can't right. do this. Right. Um, but because like, I kind of already understood the, the plan when I started with you, like I'd already like read that white book and listened to the newer plan book and had all the cookbooks. Like I, I could tell you what was an S and what was an E and what was a crossover in the fuel pool, but I just wasn't doing it. And so um, I don't think I felt overwhelmed yet. It's just been like really like freeing to know like, Hey, like I can eat food and still like lose weight and feel good and feed my family. Like there's just so much like joy and freedom in that. I'm just really grateful that I figured out how to do this and found this plan and like that you helped me along the way. And yeah. it's been, it's been really great because like I said, it's very sustainable for life and for your whole family. And, and you can have people over for dinner too, that don't know anything about your mom and you can make an on plan meal and they don't even know. Right. And, or if you're going somewhere, you know, like I'm usually the person that brings a big salad. That's just like what I do. And it's, it's great, you know? And so it's just, yeah, it's really, I guess, sustainable and, and great. It is. It is. I love that. Um, my, one of my last podcasts with Sarah, she just kept bringing up I just love it so much talking about long-term thinking that you have to have when you're doing THM, it's not short-term. It is not, it was not written to be short-term. And she kept talking about um, that she had to remind herself to have long-term thinking when it came to THM. I just, I just adore that thought. It's just great. It's really great. I love that. Did you have anything that you wanted to share with everybody? I know you said you had all your little ducks in a row I didn't want to oh I mean not miss anything that you wanted to share oh I don't know I just like that term healthy mama is great and there's there's joy in the journey that's been a learning thing for me with food in that you know like you're not defined by what you look like or what you eat and this is doable and it's just one bite at a time and one day at a time and it's, it's a process and yeah, it's great. It just re- yeah. retrains your body and retrains your mind and how to think and yeah. how to love how did, yourself. How did THM help you heal from the emotional eating? I think it just, it gave me like a definite plan of what to do. Mm-hmm. That was again, really balanced. It wasn't like you can't ever have fat. You can't ever have carbs. And it, it was just reteaching me slowly how to love myself with food. Because food is a huge part of our day and a huge part, especially when you have kids. But, um, and so I think that's it. It's just, it was a slow, I mean, slow and fast, I guess for me, like I was fortunate to get to have like a steady progress down, which was encouraging. Um, But it wasn't, it definitely wasn't like a quick fix. It wasn't like a, you know, do this fast. Right. You know, it took time, which is what I, I, what I needed and what my body needed and what my brain needed. And I'm, I'm not like, I haven't arrived. I'm still there, still there. And like, I still want to lose some more. Um, and so I'm still having to learn that, Hey, it's gonna, it's gonna take time. And and I guess just like, there's joy in the journey and I'm not measured by what size pants I wear or what size shirt I wear, or, you know, um, so just learning to love myself for who I am right now and not who I could be in the future. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Have any of your friends or family members started doing THM? nobody's started yet but I have received a lot of questions and a lot of people have said like hey if I want to do this would you help me and I'm like yes <laughs> do it that would be so great but um no one's like fully arrived there yet but their moment you know it will come I feel like so yeah for sure it takes some time I mean my husband blessed took him five years <laughs> yeah yeah That's what, yeah so he, he cracks me up I actually um uh, my admin has been pulling some old Facebook lives and putting them on YouTube so that I can grab them easily to show somebody yes. or whatever. Yes. And I was, I was listening to one while I was um, doing tracking for my one-on-one clients the other day. And it was, it had to have been one of my very first ones that I did. And I was like, Oh, Oh, bless her heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, the things that I was doing and trying to, uh, but it was just something. But anyway, so I was talking about that Wes had asked me to help him with his eating. And I'm like, 
but he didn't stick to it that time. You know? yeah. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. I was rolling, but he has been doing really well. Is Isaac still eating on plan or is he? Yeah. Not, I mean, he's real really like health conscious. Um, so he doesn't stick like a hundred percent on plan. I, yeah. You know, like when he goes to restaurants and stuff, but he does, he like is really, really supportive and, you know, eats what I make and that's you know, sweet. So it's great. I love a guy that, that does that. That's the best for sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Let me say if there's anything else I wanted to ask you about. So with your girl, your girls and your son, you have, you have all of all the things you have both genders <laughs> with your kids, <laughs> with your kids and then being little and you homeschooling besides, you know, taking care of yourself with food. Is there anything else that you do um, like self-care wise to take care of yourself? That's always a fun thing to ask about. Oh yeah. I'm definitely learning in this because, you know, you know, when, for a season, I had three kids under the age of two. And so like, it was just really hard, you know, lots of fun. It was also- not about you at all. <laughs> right. There was just no, like, there was no time for like self, you know, self-care. I'm like, I, I can't go get a pedicure. Like, no way. Like, you know, that's not a possibility right now for this season. And so like, yes. I'm just kind of leaving, leaving that season. So, um, this past year I did the Bible recap. I don't know if I'm supposed to say yeah. that or whatever, but yeah, like, yeah. um, that has been like super great. I'm on my second year through and it's just basically like read mm-hmm. through the Bible a little bit each day. And then there's a podcast that goes with it and she yep. summarizes what's happening. And yep. it's been like really transformational just for my heart and for my life and just knowing God's truth and hearing it. I would like to say every day, but most days. Um, right. And so that has been just really really what great time of day do you do that first thing and so like I wish I could get up and do it every day first thing but I'm just trying to be realistic like I love that too because it's all audio and uh-huh. so most days I do it while I'm doing laundry or unloading the dishwasher or like when my kids are having quiet time I'm I very rarely if ever like get to sit down and journal I wish I wish I could do that maybe someday I'll be able to get there but right you now will. Not, you will <laughs> it's not happening right now and that's okay um and so I'm trying to give myself grace with that too. And that like, ideally that's what I would love to get to, but it's not, not there yet. Um, but still like just being able to listen to it and hear, hear God's truth and yeah. a recap of it too, has been really great. So I really love that. And I do try to go for walks a lot. Sometimes, like sometimes my husband gets to work from home. And so like when the kids are occupied, I can go and walk and listen to a podcast or something by myself. Um, which has been also really great. And I tried to get together with like a friend, just like another woman by herself. So like just yeah. that adult conversation without any kids um, has also been really great. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Yeah. I love that. I love that. All right. Anything else you want to talk about? Oh, I mean, Jim Healthy Mama is great. And <laughs> day at a time. Oh. That's right. That's right. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I'm so proud of you. And like, you have just been a picture of somebody that was super self-motivated that just needed a little bit of handholding and accountability and you just did it, you know? And I mean, I haven't coached you in six months and you're still like, you've made those habits and you stuck to them. And so that's really, really commendable for sure. Well, thanks, Amy. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. We're going to say bye. Bye y'all. Bye.